More than 400 students, entrepreneurs and business people from all over Europe came together in a high-profile conference at Aarhus University with one single mission in mind, to save the world. But is that possible in only three days? No, but I think we can get started. And I think the new headline would be about uh, Profit People Planet. We have to come up with uh, solutions that can spread via, via the market, uh, new products and new services on top of all the political solutions. The Great Debate Solutions by Rethinking is an untraditional conference where the world's sustainability issues are being discussed between people from 38 different cultures. But what makes this conference special? I think the, the fact that we're talking about it uh, in an unconference style format. Everybody's in the workshop uh, that is very intimate with 10 to 12 people and we get a lot of time during the conference to discuss the issues at hand. Um, also the European focus, it's not just about a country or a region. Uh, we're really looking into solutions that could affect the entire continent and facilitating uh, collaboration between uh, all sectors and all countries. So that's very interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's the solution because it sometimes leads to a huge corruption. Mm -hmm. The participants were divided into groups with different topics to discuss throughout the weekend. I was assigned to the workshop migration. Our specific topic was uh, how to grant um, equal chances in employment for all the people living in the EU. I must say it was a very uh, tough uh, discussion because um, mainly because we didn't know each other before we started talking so it's always uh, difficult to break the ice and to really know what's, uh, what's the background of the people you are talking to. It was hard to find a compromise and an agreement but now we're still working on that and I think we found a, a very good uh, approach. Fortunately, the participants also got the opportunity to enjoy the world they're trying to save. Later, they had to get back inside to listen to what the politicians have to say about the topics of the weekend. Danish Minister of European Affairs, Nikolai Varmen, was very impressed by the conference. I feel that there's a very strong sense of commitment to finding solutions and a lot of new ideas and perspective. And we need new ideas to get Europe moving again. And therefore, I'm very hopeful that what is achieved at this conference will be a valuable contribution to the work being done elsewhere. And the only way to, for the European Union to survive in 2050 is to start a debate about the nowadays problems. Maybe the recipe for Aarhus water will make just a small difference in saving the world. The more profound solutions from the conference at Aarhus University will be handed over to the politicians in the EU and hopefully make an impact on the upcoming Rio Plus 20 conference.